Welcome. So I've been recently asked quite often about what the limit is on a trust line. So when you, for example, uh, when you want to set a trust line for any token, for example, let's say for the gate of US dollars, and you can set trust line, it's passing a limit parameter here. You can see here the limit is right now one, three, whatever. And now the question, is it important what you put in there? And the answer is yes and no. So in general speaking, it doesn't matter what number you put in there. So in regards to the, the highest number, uh, you can just enter more or less the highest number you want to, or the lowest number, you want, well, a uh, high number. Uh, but the only thing that, that the limit says is how much are you willing to own slash hold at most of the token? So usually it just takes the circulating supply, so the supply, and sets it as a limit. So at most you can own all the supply. Um, and that's all the limit does. So if, for example, let's say, it, uh, well, I've got right now the US dollars here. If I say, uh, I only want to own at most 10 US dollars, and uh, let's say I already have 9 US dollars, and somebody tries to send me two, then the transaction will fail because my limit is already reached, w w w would have been reached with that transaction. And yeah, that's all it means. So we can have a look here again. We can see here that the limit uh, just says, so you can set different limits on each trust line to indicate the maximum amount you're willing to let the issuer owe you. So it, it's just the max amount of the token you can have slash you're being owed to. That's all this. And uh, yeah, just to illustrate that, we can also, I've prepared just two, two test, tested accounts there. Um, I issued my own DEF token on the testnet. So you can see right now there's the issuer. It is, issued 1,000 DEF tokens. I've got the receiver. That is ju it's just an account having a trust line set. So now this one's gonna set a trust line to um, so custom edit. So now I have to define the issuer. So in this case, the issuer is just, I would ha we'll have to look it up one more time. So in this case, the issuer is down here. I'm just gonna go to uh, whatever, explain, or I guess, uh, well, request and copy the address there. That's the issuer. The currency code is def. And for example, I'm gonna say I'm willing to at most own 10 of the tokens. So it doesn't matter if you have a one with many zeros in there, uh, but I'm just saying you should set the limit to a higher number. Uh, like I said, what you're willing to own at most. Uh, right, so if I set the limit to 10 right now at this account here, so now I'm setting the trust line. And if I'm now after setting the trust line, so I actually just need one account, so I'm just gonna maximize here. And right, now the trust is set and I've got a, a trust of a dev token. And uh, let's say, like I said, the, the sender account, the receiver account, tries to send some one dev token to this address, that's gonna be no problem at all. So like I said, let's send, so one dev token. And I'm just gonna copy the address here, and put into sum. So where is it there? Perfect. And if you do that, it won't be a problem at all. So now I just sign the transaction. Uh, now this account is going to have a balance of one DEF token. But, right, but if I now would try to send, let's say for example, another 10, then we're going to have a problem because the trust line limit is 10. And if we would now try to send um, some more tokens, even though the limit isn't, so even though the limit is going to be reached or maxed out, then this transaction is going to fail because it's a tech path partial, because it's not only be possible to fill this uh, request partially. So it could send nine, but not 10. And uh, that's exactly what the limit is. So it's a user setting. It's a setting your end to say, how much am I willing to be owed at most? And if you set it too low and you try to trade, have already a lot and try to trade and get more of it, then it's not possible. So like I said, I've sent just another nine. Uh, hopefully it did, you know? Oh, damn it. No, it just burned tokens. My bad. I think, it, oh yeah, it did. no, it's perfect. Yeah, now, it's, now it has exactly 10. And yeah, that's exactly what the limit is and what it means. And you can adjust the limit. So let's say the user now is 10, but can't be sent more tokens. And the user thinks, well, I actually would like to own more. Then you can just go to the, his um, assets and just edit the asset. For example, set the limit to a higher number. So like I said, it doesn't matter what number you actually put in there. It sh like I said, it just means how much are you willing to own most at your part. And if it's too low and someone tries to send you something, it's going to fail. And the problem is going to be, quote unquote, in your end then. All right, so that's it for this video. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.